Hey everybody, it's John from the Gloucester Library, and for today's Let's Draw, let's draw a seagull. Alright, let's get started. So I decided to draw my seagull in mid-flight. So I'm going to have the body facing us and the wings spread out to the sides. And his head's going to be facing this way a little bit. So let's start with the top of the head. And kind of keep it small so you'll have lots of space to the sides for your wings. So that's the top of the head. And then I'm going to draw like the, um, the beak. So I'm going to have it come down and into the beak. And then have the beak come back up. Oops. Just like, I hope I don't like that. Have the beak come up just like this to a point. And then do the bottom of the head, just a curved line that comes up like that. And the other side of the neck coming up to the head. So you have a shape like that. And for our beak, I'm going to draw the bottom of it where it comes up like that, just a little part. And it, the rest of it's kind of hidden by the top of the beak. So it comes up like that. And then this part of the beak, the top, just like that, kind of curves, goes up and curves in a little bit. And then we'll have one of the little skinny nostrils that we can see on that side. So just a little line and a little thicker part or a little dot there at the end. And I'm going to do an eye. So I have an eye right here. And draw a little pupil in the eye. And you can't quite see the other ones. There's just like a little bump there for where the other eye is. And now I'm going to do the body. So the body's kind of like a rectangular shape, but curved. So it's going to look a little bit like a marshmallow. So we'll have that come down like this. Come up. See how it's like a little marshmallow shape? And then I'm going to do the legs. They're the next thing, you know, in the layers. I try to do, when you're drawing, you do like what's on top first and then go backwards. So my next layer is my legs. So I'm going to do the top, the top of the legs. So they come down to the first joint there. I guess you can call them the bird's knees. And then the feet. We're going to do the legs down to the feet. So skinny leg, skinny leg, and then down into the feet. And the feet are um, webbed, and they're not spread out this time. They're, they're in. So they're, they're going to um, look a little bit small because they're not spread out. And I'm doing these little lines in here to show the webbing and the feet. And I'm going to kind of darken it a little bit here just to show the shadow of where the body is uh, covering it up, covering up the top of those legs. Now I'm going to do the tail feathers. So I'm going to start with the ones in the middle and then I'm going to fan out to the last ones to so have them come out. And I'm doing a little bit of squiggly lines or dashed lines towards the end, you know, to show the, uh, you know, the texture of the, feather, the feathers there. There we go. So we got one, two, and three. Four, five, six, and seven, eight, and then nine, ten. And those ones are going to kind of curve up a little bit like that. There we go. 
And now I'm going to do the outstretched wings. So I'm going to start with the tops of the wings. This one is going to start just a little bit here at the bottom of the neck. It's going to come down just a little and then come right up and out. And then a similar sh shape here, come down then out. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to draw the bottom and kind of make some um, U shapes, some little U shapes as I'm going along to represent the feathers. So I'm doing like six big ones here on the tip here. And one, two, three, four, five, six there. And then there's lots of smaller ones on the inside lower part there on each. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And I'm going to do just a light line on the top here of the wing show the part where all of our feathers are going to connect and then I'm not going to do all the detail of each feather but um, there are tiny feathers before we get to these big feathers so I'm just going to do just some little U shapes like this coming in some little squiggly U shapes just to show that there's lots of little feathers there and then for some of these I'm just going to kind of hint I draw the lines to where the feathers are coming in and meeting those little feathers. You see how like I'm not not drawing them all the way up there. You can if you want. You can draw it all the way up and have it meet the little feathers, but I'm just kind of hinting that those big feathers are doing that. All right, so there's my seagull, and I'm going to color them in now. Um, I'm going to use uh, kind of a light gray just to show the shadows because uh, my seagull is white. Um, and although they usually have gray uh, feathers on the outside of their feathers, it's kind of hidden in this view because the tops are facing up and back out of our view. But I'm going to use a gray go in and uh, just show where the shadow is so I'm gonna go in and just block it in if you're working with color pencils or crayons um, where you want it to be light just put just a little bit of pressure on there you know when you're doing it and then as you need it to darken for the shadow areas as you get to places closer to the body like this where it's going to be darker and like places towards the bottom of the body here where it's going to be darker you know go ahead and press down harder and there we go and some of the feathers tail feathers there all right and it looks kind of messy but I'm gonna go in and smudge it uh, when you're working with yours try to to blend it as you go and you'll see how I blend mine after the fact. It's just the tools that I'm working with here, they um, work a little bit differently than real tools, real media. Now I'm gonna use orange for the eye and for the beak. So I'm gonna pick like a good yellowy orange color for that. Maybe a little bit more on the yellow side than orange, I think. Yeah, here we go. And let's see. Let's pick a smaller brush. And color in its legs and feet. There we go. And the beak. Do that beak. And the eye. There we go. And then I'm going to go in and blend these. Um, now if you're, like I said, working with other media like color pencils or crayons, you can do this as you go along by coloring darker, um, you know, by pressing down harder and coloring lighter. 
by pressing lightly. But the tools I'm working with are a little bit different on this, but I kind of like the result. kind of reminds me of like a watercolor look. So I like to do that. But just kind of blend it a little bit so the lines aren't so harsh. Shrink that a little. There we go. Get the eye in our beak. All right. There we go. So there's our seagull. And then I'm going to draw just a little bit of blue in the background to show the sky. And maybe leave some patches of white in there to represent my clouds. Alright, so let me get my blue. Choose a big brush. Let me fill in here. I'm doing it real light. I might have like a cloud to the side here, so I'll leave that part white. And then down here. Going around my seagull, and then we'll press down harder at the bottom. So I, as it, the sky in the top is uh, a lighter blue, and it gets darker as it's going down towards the earth. And press down harder at the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to go back in and blend it. So I'm going to leave that for like a cloud. Blend this around my seagull. Alright. There we go. This part can take a lot of time when you're using crayons and colored pencils because it's takes a lot of time to fill in a space. So I'm kind of lucky with that on the computer that I can do it a lot more quickly in this this tool. Alright, so there's our seagull flying in the sky. Probably in a nice summer day. Alright, I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Draw and I hope to see you next time.